So this is my old Chevy pickup. It's a 86. Had this for quite a while now, almost a year, and uh, made a few repairs on it along the way. Done some cooling system work and the carburetor work and put tires on it and a hitch on it and some exhaust stuff done to it. But it's got a few other things left that need to be addressed on it, and I'll show you one of them. <clears throat> That's the reason why I haven't been driving it much recently. If you look under on the ground here, there's quite a stain right there, and that's transmission fluid. It's just really been dumping the fluid out when it sits. We'll go over here and go down the other side. We'll look under there. I'll show you what's going on. This is a Turbo 400 automatic. You see, there's another stains and things where it's been sitting here so it just leaks 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 so i've been out here a time or two just kind of looking at what's up and trying to evaluate this and i think i showed you guys this before but this transmission pan not only is it wet but it's really beat up pretty bad it's got a spot right there which I put some JB weld on that but it had a weld spot on that it looked like it had maybe been uh, I don't know had a hole put in it or something but it's just wet all the way around it it is very wet back here it's got fluid obviously dripping off of it and you come up here and look here no surprise that it is leaking right out of the speedometer adapter and those things have two seals in them. They have a large seal goes around the outside perimeter where it fits into the case, and then there's a small seal inside of it. And I've already done a video on a 350 fixing this, but this one is, uh, you're gonna have to have something done about this. So let's show you what I did about it. So this is what I did about it. I went online and ordered the new transmission pan. This is aluminum. It's painted black. It's got the fins on it. It's got a drain plug. Came with hardware. It's Allen head. That's all right. And a rubber gasket for it. And uh, so that should cure that. I like aluminum pans because they, you, it's too easy to warp a steel pan by over tightening it. I fear that's what, what's wrong with it once on it. So it's a pretty decent piece. I don't know where it came from. I'm sure it probably came from overseas somewhere, but it's what we have these days. It conveniently has 400 printed on the inside of it in case you forget what you're working on. And then, in addition to that, We got the kit to rebuild the seals and the speedometer adapter. So, okay, that's going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to get on busy working, getting this thing drained and getting the pan off of it. Get all back ready to go. So, we'll take a look in the pan to see if the transmission is destroying itself. All right, plan B. So, I got this pan off. I've cleaned it up, beat the dents back out of it and straighten the flanges up a little bit with a hammer to tap the holes back flush and put some JB weld on this little weld that was already there uh, it didn't look like it was leaking but I had I thought I saw a drip off of it when I had some gas in this cleaning it out so just to be on the safe side we're just going to go ahead and use the miracle cure and put that JB weld on there just to cover it over now you might be asking well I thought you just had a pan to put on it well, I do have a pan, but it's not going to go on there because somebody, which would be me, failed to measure and determined that they had a deep pan on this Turbo 400. That's a deep pan. And that that one that I showed you that I bought off the internet, it's a nice pan, but it's some sort of hybrid between a shallow pan and a deep pan. It'll fit a shallow pan. It won't fit a deep one because, if you come out here and look real quick, Again. You know you got not only do you measure it, but you know you got a deep sump when you look up at this filter that's on here and you look across there where the bolt is, see there in the center, that's where the bolt that holds the thing in 
goes there's a spacer right there and that tube right there that comes down it's also longer to get the filter down at the near the bottom of the pan so that's a deep one it's on a truck i guess they all have that so if you have a car it's not like this you can convert it to this if you have a car pan but you can't use a car pan shallow pan on this one without taking all that off and i'm not going to so i'm just gonna have to use the old pan that's the way it goes you learn a lesson from wasting money so anyway i got that speedometer adapter out and I'll show you what was rednecked up with that Somebody did something wrong, of course. They didn't know what they were doing. It's not surprising me anymore. So, this is the gear that goes in. This is your Speedo gear. And, well, pop this thing out. This fell out into the pan there. And come find out, this is the exterior of this thing. This is where the cable screws on. And, see that blue residue right there? Some genius had put this over this, thinking that was going to be how that went. Like that. It was sitting there like that. Now, I don't know what they did, thought when they looked at this O-ring right here that's there. I don't know what they thought that was or what that was supposed to do or whether they just ignored it or what they did. But this isn't anything. This is nothing. That's not the seal. This, you got the seal, but you didn't put it in the right place. You're supposed to take that one out and put this one in. So I'll fix that. Some genius. And then you got this little small seal goes inside there. You just pick that out and push the new one in. I showed you the little kit. So that's all there is to it. But come on, guys. Really? If you don't understand it, find somebody that does understand it. And let them help you with it. Doesn't go like that. That is nothing. That is less than nothing. That's stupid. Don't do that. Here's a little notation for you. When you get ready to pull this little uh, seal out right here, the gear rods, then there is a small circle. Oops. Goodbye. Circle up that goes in there over it. So make sure that you put that back in. Right, there it is. No rings on. The lip seal is in there. The retaining ring is over it like it should be. Make sure that that faces the right way. In there. Lip facing in, not out. And you put your gear in before you put it in and make sure you just use a little bit of ATF to lubricate that little seal there and just smear a little bit around the perimeter of this before you put it all back together. Remember, the O-ring goes in the groove, not out here somewhere. Make sure you got this thing seated all the way. What I do is I get it positioned and then take a plastic hammer and just kind of tap on the end of it till it pops in. When Genius had that extra O-ring put on there, it wouldn't seat all the way. It's probably about, I don't know, close to a quarter inch out. So. What? Okay, so this pan's all cleaned up and repaired as best as I can get it, so it's going to have to do. So now, since we know this pan is not really going to be level anymore, it's got, you know, some use and tightening and all that, it's just kind of not entirely one level anymore. We know we're probably going to have leaks. If we just put a gasket on it and just slap it on like it, like as is and don't do anything else and we're probably asking for trouble. You know, this is a this is a rubber gasket and I'm not entirely fond of these, but it's what I have to use and I'm not going to go I'm not going to go buy another gasket. So for any reason and salvage something out of that transmission pan debacle and it'll be this. 
So anyway, we don't want to just put this on here because it's not going to seal. What we, it's, this is about what we know and what we don't know. And there's a couple things we know besides the fact that this gasket's a pain to deal with. But get up there. Love that. So anyway, we just slapped it. What we know is if we slap this gasket on, I'm trying to get these little circle things out of here. We just throw this on and we're going to have leaks like we just did, like we're, what we're trying to fix because the gasket, we know the transmission pan is assumed to, the pan rail on the bottom of the transmission is assumed to be flat. There's no reason it shouldn't be. It's a huge cast chunk of aluminum. It's machined down very smoothly. So that's known. So our issue is, is that the gasket will probably seal against the pan just fine. I mean the, the pan rail just fine. But it won't want to seal here because if it's flat on the top, then there's a lot of big voids and things like that. So we're going to bring out our secret weapon. This is what I used on the green Plymouth, and it worked great. This is this 3M yellow super weather strip and gasket adhesive. It's fine for use on uh, stuff like this. You know, it's for normally you use it for things like weather stripping, of course, but. You can use it for other stuff. And it works great for this because this is a an excellent adhesive. So secret weapon is we're going to just put a good layer of this stuff on here. We're not gonna be shy about it either. Put a good bead around it. to make the corners do awful well. Skin on it already. It's really hot out here. So this stuff is gonna this stuff is gonna set pretty fast. Be a little quick about this. We have a messy thing, but we don't care. And one objective here, and that is no more leaks. So you want to try to keep it. Make sure you're around all your bolt holes. And you want to try to keep it inside out of the pan. Okay, so that's that. Spot that here is kind of So we 
you set your gasket in, we're gonna let the stuff take up. When you set your gasket in, you wanna try to keep from moving it too much. There, get you out of there, get you out of there. There, get you out of there. Good job. Yum, 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 yum. yum. So what this is going to do, in essence, this is going to fill the voids, hopefully. I say it worked great on the other car. So, God, this stuff all over me now. <laughs> you suck. Where's my gloves when I need them, huh? Now I'm going to let this stuff set before I put fluid in it. So, you know, if there's a little bit that gets in, in sort of on the inside part of the pan, we're not going to worry about it because it's going to be dry and it won't get into the fluid. Stuff is that's not, that's not affected by transmission fluid. If you wonder what I'm doing, I'm doing some sort of a Chinese finger puzzle here. I'm trying to get all this glue off here. It's one of these things that will drive you crazy because it comes off one and sticks to the other. Stop messing with it. See, so anyway, sorry about that. It's a sort of a messy thing. Like I said, it looks it's not as clean as it, you know, just putting the gasket on by itself, but yeah, stop that. All right, we're going to go ahead and put our gasket on, and this is tedious. I don't mind to tell you that. I know you're gonna say, "Well, that's a mess," but it really does work. Looks good. So I'm gonna stick a couple bolts in them here. Four in, be precise. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Right, so I'm gonna go throw this thing on real quick. Bring you back. Well, filled up the transmission fluid and drove to town and back and around and so far we're staying dry. The tail will be told when it sits overnight, see if it, the fluid kind of drains back, we'll see if it drips any again. But hopefully that's going to resolve that issue and it will quit boiling down my place over here. Made a real 
mess on the gravel and I don't like that. So anyway, I've got to try to clean this up and get some more gravel put over it and stuff to help this out. But anyway, that's going to conclude this one for this time around with this truck. Now, I've got a little bit more to do on it. I've mentioned a few different times that it's got to have some brake work done on it. It's got something, something up with the back brakes. I don't know if one of the adjusters are seized up on one side, but like when I went down the driveway and put the brakes on, it just drug the left rear tire down there for a couple dozen feet. And I can hear it try to lock up when I put the brakes on on the pavement. So something's up with that. I don't know what's going on over here. And also, like I said, you already seen, I got a, huh, a busted uh, emergency brake cable. And the master cylinder is leaking down the back of it. It's one of you guys, I think it was MGM's garage, MJM, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking of the movie. <laughs> uh, you point that out, it's bypassing the fluid out of the back of it. So, yeah, you know, it's like all my stuff. I just buy in cheap and then I have to go catching stuff up. So, it is what it is, you know. The thing about it is after you're done, you got something that's in good shape. So, that's that. So, I'm going to wrap it up with this one get into something else. I also I want to apologize briefly for veering off into some political stuff on this channel. I violated one of my cardinal rules about my channel and started posting things that are political in nature and even though I'm not really a political person I have firmly held beliefs and so I started getting into that. I thought that community tab thing was a good idea you know to just post some thoughts but uh, I didn't use it for what it's intended to be used for and that was my fault and I should have known that when I post things like that that it is gonna bring out the worst in people myself included so we're not gonna go there anymore I've taken all those down and we're just gonna stay away from that subject I may you know there may be another uh, venue for those kind of discussions but it's not here so Again, I apologize about that. I know that you guys mainly want to see car stuff and truck stuff and tractor stuff and anything that's got an engine on it, and so do I, so we're going to stick to that. I think that's a good idea. So we're just going to let bygones be bygones, except for one of you who was really rude to me. I don't think you'll be coming back. But All right, then. The horn's honking. That means i got to turn this camera off. See ya.